This is Paces from A to Z training course. Um, I'm Dr. Mona Sahimi. I'm going to demonstrate a cardiac examination. Start your examination after washing your hand by greeting introduce yourself, take permission. Good morning, I'm Dr. Mona, can I examine you? Start your examination by general survey, looking for the patient and surrounding. In the patient, you look for any clue for the cause, like marfanoid features, um, like lupus rash or other clues for the cause. In the surrounding, check for the presence of walking aid or a wheelchair. Uh, this signifies the presence of thromboembolic phenomena. Then start general examination by looking for clubbing, splinter hemorrhage, osler nodule, Janeway lesion. Ask the patient to rest his hand and check the pulse in 15 seconds. Multiply by 4. Check the regularity of the pulse. Is it regular or irregular? Equality on both sides. Pulse volume and the special character. When you check for a special character, you should ask about pain in the shoulder. Any pain? Take his hand in yours. Catch the press over the bulk of the muscle. Raise his hand and wait for a few seconds. Thank you. Now, Pallor, look up, please. Look down, please. Would you open your mouth, please? And check for the neck vein. Look to the other side, please. Then, move to the lower limb, checking for lower limb edema. Ask about pain and uh, Press for edema while looking to his face. Any pain? Mm -hmm. Check for peripheral pulsation, dorsal speed pulse, and check if there is any harvesting scar. As you uncover the patient, please cover him again. Start local examination of the chest by checking for the apex. By definition, the apex is the lowermost, outermost visible pulsation. You start by looking for the apex by an inspection, confirm a location by the palm, check for a thrill by the head of first metacarpal bone, check the apex character by the tip of index, then count. This is suprasternal notch, sternal angle, the second space, third, fourth, fifth. Move to the left lower sternal edge. Put the edge of your hand over the edge of the sternum and ask your patient to take a deep breath and hold it. Check for the presence of strill by putting the head of metacarpal bone over the lower edge of the sternum. In the second left space, by the tip of finger, check for palpable second harsh sound if there is pulsation in this space. And by the head of metacarpal, check if there is any thrill. Again, in the aortic area, check for pulsation and thrill. Lastly, check for thrill on the root of the neck. Auscultation of the heart. Start your auscultation from the apex by the bell while doing timing. Get the carotid at the angle of the mandible. Ask your patient to move to the other side. Relocalize the apex. Check it again by the bell. Then auscultate the apex by the diaphragm. If there is any murmur, check its propagation to the axilla on the same space. Then go to the left lower sternal edge pulmonary area, second left space, aortic area, second right space. If there is any murmur, check its propagation to the clavicle, root of the neck. And if you are going to auscultate the neck for the carotid uh, propagation, ask the patient to hold the breath and auscultate by the bell. Then check the third space. This is the suprasternal notch, sternal angle, second space, third space. Listen while doing timing for the left third space. Ask your patient to sit. Uh, lean forward, take a deep breath, exhale it completely and hold in expiration. Thank you. 
then auscultate the base of the lung for presence of any crepitations. Then check for uh, sacral edema. Any pain? No. Place while looking to his face, then check for the edema. If you have a mediastinotomy scar, you should start your auscultation by checking the Zephy sternum to time the click, if it is systolic or diastolic, and end your auscultation. Again, when the patient's sitting, leaning forward by auscultating the Zephy sternum for timing of the click. By this, we finished cardiology examination. I cover your patient and thank him. Thank you.